There is another account beginning to develop as different media outlets say that Stephen Paddock was a connivance scholar who trusted that 9-11 was an inside activity. On the off chance that police had any confirmation connecting him to the extraordinary right, outrageous left or fear-monger gatherings, it would have been made open at this point. Be that as it may, with still no clear intention behind his activities, the media is endeavoring to attach Paddock to the individuals who questioned the legislature. Extremist Post reports. We have seen an exceptional time allotment pass by, without reconnaissance film as well as without any insights regarding why Paddock shot into a horde of 22,000 honest individuals. Be that as it may, it would appear that this may begin to change. As indicated by the Daily Mail, a whore who Paddock enlisted over and over has supposedly approached with some somewhat terrible cases. A Las Vegas prostitute who was contracted by killer Stephen Paddock has stood up about their rough sex sessions and how he boasted about having ill will. The lady, who talked namelessly, said she would invest hours drinking and betting in Sin City with Paddock, who she portrayed as neurotic and over the top. In the event that he hit a triumphant streak, he would take her back to his space for truly forceful and vicious sex including living out assault dreams, she said. While brutal assault dreams from a mass killer unquestionably fit the bill, the possibility that scrutinizing the official government story on September 11 is some way or another a sign that somebody may go on a murdering binge is as silly as it is perilous. Be that as it may, this is what's going on the present moment in the media. The 27-year-old lady said Paddock, 64, would frequently rage about fear-inspired notions including how 9-11 was coordinated by the U.S. government. In the wake of neglecting to attach Paddock to one side, right, and ISIS, the media is currently connecting with attach him to the individuals who question the administration. It is critical to take note of that the vast majority who question the state do as such out of a want to counteract passing, not encourage it. Individuals who scrutinized the story of weapons of mass decimation in Iraq did as such in light of the fact that they needed to keep a war in which many would bite the dust. Be that as it may, they were named as nutcases and intrigue scholars by the Foundation, regardless of being legitimized years after the fact. This is just the same old thing new.